Welcome, welcome to the Fiduciary Podcast, brought to you by the Institute for the Fiduciary Standard. I'm Caleb Paddock. And I'm Anne-Marie Ashworth. And we are so excited that you have joined us for our first episode of the Fiduciary Podcast. We're going to talk about all things fiduciary in this podcast. In today, our first episode, we thought we would lead things off by talking about why choose a fee-only fiduciary advisor. Part of the reason for this podcast is you will hear this term thrown around a lot. What does it mean? Why would it be better or worse? And so Anne-Marie and I are going to try to shed some light on that. We also hope to have special guests that we'll bring on so you can hear stories of other fiduciary advisors, learn a little bit about their journey and why this topic is so important to them. So whether you're an advisor watching this or a consumer looking for an advisor, we hope that you learn a lot, that you're encouraged by these stories. And so today we're going to talk about why choose a fee-only fiduciary advisor. So Anne-Marie, why would we hire a fiduciary advisor? Why does that matter? Truthfully, Caleb, to me, being a fiduciary means first and foremost, putting my client's needs above my needs or anyone else's in my firm's needs. When we think about what it means to be a fiduciary and something we'll talk about in our next series of videos is things like how is a fiduciary compensated? What types of conflicts of interest do we have in in making sure that we're disclosing them? What types of education we're we're, um, receiving? And then relationships and the difference between a fiduciary and say a broker dealer. And I know for me, it came down to why I chose to be a fiduciary and work at a fee-only financial planning firm is that core module of putting my clients' needs above my own and making sure that the recommendations that we provide to clients are the best recommendations for them, not necessarily something that'll get them towards the end goal, but making sure it really is the best recommendation and then helping them through that execution. Uh, Because I know when you think about as a consumer, why did that like how do you choose a financial advisor and something we'll talk about before is advisors look alike but that doesn't mean that they all act alike and that's why i chose to be fiduciary caleb i'd I'd be curious can you touch on what made you want to go into being a fiduciary and working in a fee-only financial planning firm absolutely so the the short story is i did not start in the financial Uh, profession as a financial advisor. So I worked in a subsidiary profession uh, serving financial advisors, and I just saw what I felt were a lot of shenanigans going on, things that just didn't seem to be in the best interest of the consumer. Um, They definitely made the advisors and the parent companies, the the corporate companies, um, very incredible amounts of revenue. And so there was, they were, they were doing very well, but I didn't necessarily see clients doing as well or clients quite understanding the incentive structures and clients largely made the decision of who to work with because they liked the person. It's a nice guy or a nice woman or nice gal. And so I, I, I went down this path of trying to figure out, well, what kinds of advisors are there? Because I noticed that there were men and women that we're doing things very differently uh, as from an observer's perspective. And so I wanted to know what's the difference? Cause to your point, Anne-Marie, they all look the same. Yeah. <laughs> they all, they all <laughs> everyone does the same thing, right? And so uh, that led me you know, down a path to eventually becoming a, a financial planner, uh, becoming a certified financial planner. And, and today where I serve as a fiduciary and I'm looking forward to unpacking this word because it is a volatile word in this in the in our space and and clients are confused. You know, folks are confused about, you know, what does it mean and and how would we define that? And and I think for consumers watching this, what questions? Like what are the good questions to ask to That's really understand mm-hmm. um, to understand fiduciary and then within fiduciary, right? There you, even if you're talking to to a fiduciary advisor, how do you navigate the best one for you? So I think that's, that's important as well. I think your story, especially since we come from very different, you started with a working for a larger firm and I went in solely from 
working at a fee only. So it's kind of all I know. I think it's going to be really interesting when we get to have peers come in and talk about their stories for whether they've been in the industry for a few years or decades. And just to see what, what are the common grounds that brought us all together to working towards a being a fiduciary and acting as a fiduciary. So I very much so look forward to that as well. And we hope you continue to listen to the podcast and our videos and get to know what it means to be a fiduciary, whether you are a consumer, and then also to listen in on some peers that we bring in. Absolutely. We'll see, we'll see you on here again soon. Bye, everyone.